Hey guys, it's me, Vic Seventy Three, and I'm going to be doing a commentary, sitting here in front of the mic and talking to you guys. And I used to do this kind of video at one point, almost every single day. Every video I did would be something along these lines, and then my channel changed, and uh, that's exactly what I'm going to be talking about in this video right here. Got some Team Fortress Two gameplay going on in the background. Really, really enjoy playing the game, so it's cool to be able to show that off in the video and let's get straight to the point. So I've had quite a few people, um, well, I wouldn't say complaining, but writing in my comment section saying, you know, I miss when you do videos like this every single day, you just commentate gameplays, Call of Duty gameplays every day and uh, you know, your channel's changed and it's not the same and all of these supposed motives behind what has happened here. And I wanted to give you guys my true motives, explain, you know, truly what is going on here. And uh, before I go straight into that, there's actually quite a fitting quote, a quote that I really like. And it is that change is the only constant in life other than, you know, taxes and all that other stuff that, you know, happens all the time that you have to do that sucks. But no, no, um, it's, it's quite a nice quote. It's probably, it's probably got a few holes in it. You could probably argue with it quite easily, but I like it anyway. And, uh, you know, people often fear or dislike change, but it's usually a good thing more often in the long term than the short term. And yeah, my channel has definitely definitely changed. When I started my channel, I was just uploading, you know, random Call of Duty clips that I was recording with my friends just for a bit of fun, you know, no no motive behind it other than just sharing clips with each other. Then I decided to change my channel a little bit again, even this is when I had pretty much no audience. If any of you guys still here were part of my audience back then, and that's crazy, you're part of a very small minority, and it's awesome that you guys are still sticking around. Um, but yeah, I moved on to posting tutorial type videos, um, tomahawk spots on Black Ops 1, where to throw different tomahawks to get different kills, all that sort of stuff, and they were kind of for my own reference. One, I could show my friends, two, I could look back at those videos and remember the spots for myself. So again, I changed my channel to do that. Then uh, my I actually picked up a bit of an audience from do that doing that without even realizing people were actually searching for these spots and wanted to see them for themselves. So there was that. So then I had a bit of this audience and I was like, right, I need to adapt my content again because I like this idea of having an audience. It's cool that people are actually choosing to watch my videos. So I started commentating over gameplay, not really anything too major. I was really just talking about, you know, tips and that sort of stuff. This is this is the squeaky voice three and a half years ago, Vicstar. If you guys go on my channel, you go on the video manager tab, you set it to um, oldest to newest, go and watch some of my older videos, you will, you'll find them hilarious. I don't even understand why anyone watched them. Literally, the videos, I'm, I'm going to recreate one. You can go and watch them. You know, they're all still on my channel, but this is pretty much how they went. Hey guys, it's me, Vicstar123. Today I've got a free-for-all gameplay with the Mac 11 extended mags, and it's a it's a quite good gun and doesn't have many bullets, but if you put extended mags, it's quite a good gun. I've got the hollow literally, they were like that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's I I hope it's safe to say yeah, stuff's improved since then. And stuff has changed as well. So I was doing that sort of stuff and uh and then I started, you know, doing commentaries where I talk about just random topics and things to do with me, things to do with the world in general, things to do with gaming, like like I am right now. And uh, then I started doing, you know, edited, um, you know, edited montage type videos. I started doing kill cam series, myth series, all that sort of stuff. And, uh, you know, to an extent at this point when I started changing up my content at that point, it was to build an audience. It was to increase my viewership. And that's kind of almost the point of doing YouTube. And obviously, as a byproduct of that, um, you know, my videos generate more ad revenue. And I'd be lying if I didn't say that, you know, it's a great thing to be able to earn ad revenue from making videos. And of course, you know, everyone, that's why everyone, you know, most people in the world work a job. It's to, you know, earn money so they can pay their bills, get things they want, that sort of stuff. But there's a lot more to YouTube and views and building a channel than just that. I've had so many priceless experience, you know, traveling to events, different countries, different places, meeting different people from across the world, making new friends. You know, there's been so much more to YouTube than just the ad revenue itself. But, you know, it is a nice part of it. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I would never do that. But, um, that's that side of it. So that was kind of one of the motives that I refer back to the start of the video. You know, a load of people were saying Vic's content's changed because he's not in it for doing what he wants to do. He just wants to make the most money out of the ad revenue. And that's entirely not the case. And here's a huge part of it, okay? I got bored. Like, I'm, I'm going to be straight up. There was a time about six, seven months ago when I was really, really bored of just doing the same gameplays, the same commentaries. I wasn't enjoying Call of Duty as much. And I felt that that was, you know, directly reflected in my content itself. It wasn't the best it could be. You know, 
everything you do, you can do it for a certain amount of time and then, you know, it's going to grow old to you. And that's why about, let's say, um, a year and a half ago to two years ago, I started up a Let's Play channel where I was posting random games, Far Cry 3, SimCity, all sorts of crisis, just random stuff to that channel. Then that channel slowly became a Minecraft channel. I really, really was enjoying that and I was focusing on that channel up until a couple of months ago. And uh, just, you know, being able to create fresh content. Yeah, I didn't change my content just, you know, um, to jump on, you know, to stick to what's popular. But in a way, that's part of the game with YouTube. You know, you've got to stay relevant with what is popular. Otherwise, people aren't going to watch your videos. And obviously, I don't want people to not watch my videos. That's a double negative right there. But um, I, I switched up what I was doing with Minecraft. And it's just nice to, you know, mix it up just to learn new skills. Part of, you know, what I find with, look at that one HP in the game, part of what I find with any kind of, anything I do in life, if I don't see improvement or, um, you know, a learning curve or I don't learn stuff, I find it pretty dull. And, you know, that's the, that's why I enjoy playing new games so much. You guys can probably all remember when you first played Minecraft, when you first played Call of Duty, when you first played Battlefield, Team Fortress, GTA, whatever. You went through a learning curve. You learned stuff about the game. You progressed at the game. You got better. You became more skilled. You learned different strategies, different ways to play the game. And I think that's one of the most fun things that there is within gaming, within doing anything, within editing content, producing content, commentating it, live commentating it. Just um, going into different things, I think, is, you know, a really important thing to do. As a YouTuber, you will see kind of a lot of YouTubers who fall off. Um, it's because they don't really adapt their channel. They don't, you know, um, they don't really further themselves in that people are only going to be interested in watching a certain type of content for so long as the, at the same time as producing it. So at the moment, my channel is based, you know, more around just, you know, messing around, having fun and editing it on GTA than just commentating over gameplay and that sort of stuff. I'm still keeping it in the background because I still enjoy doing it, but not as much as playing GTA with friends, having fun and editing that up and kind of reliving the funny moments um, while editing them. It is, you know, a lot more time intensive, but I feel a lot happier about that content. I feel like the content is a lot higher quality than when it was just me. I'd hop on, I'd play a game, I'd uh, talk over it and then upload it. And a lot of the time I didn't even have, you know, great commentary topics. I didn't have, I'd have to spend ages thinking up stuff to talk about. And then sometimes I wouldn't even do a great job of it. It wouldn't be particularly relevant or interesting in my own eyes, you know, from time to time. Um, so I feel like that's, that kind of sums up the, uh, the reasoning behind me adapting, you know, my channels and what I post. And it is, it is a very difficult thing to do because we have massively split audiences on this channel. I know there's a lot of you guys on this channel that would probably love to see more TF2 gameplay on screen right now. I love playing Scout. It's just, it's just awesome and fast paced. A lot of you would probably prefer to see more Call of Duty. A lot of you would prefer to just see only GTA. Some people Battlefield. So, you know, a lot of the time I just have to go with what the majority kind of feeling is. A lot of the time I just go with what I'm enjoying personally the most because I feel like that's going to be reflected the most in, you know, the video that is being posted up to the channel. So I just wanted to give you guys kind of a background, kind of an insight into what goes on behind the scenes, I guess, as it were. Because you kind of see, you see a front of me and a front of my channel. And there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes that you guys aren't always, you know, in the know on, which I, you know, quite like to uh, give you guys in, an insight into because uh, I feel like sometimes, you know, with YouTubers, people forget that YouTubers are even people. You know, they write these ridiculously hateful, you know, things in the comments, unreasonable things, you know, complaining about this, that and the other. Oh, you missed this at this point in the video. Oh, you should have done this. You should have done that. You're really bad. And, you know, sometimes it's nice just to drop into just talking with you guys on a personal level because we're all people, right? I, I think you guys are people. Thank you. And if you are still watching right now, that's awesome. I do very much appreciate that. It's, I'm, I'm glad to, uh, hopefully you're finding this somewhat interesting or you've just not bothered to click off yet. Uh, one of the two. But yeah, that's, that's just kind of a summary of my thoughts. I've probably missed out something I wanted to say. There was a huge list of stuff, but I think I've covered the majority of things. And guys, be sure to feed back to me in the comment section on this video. I want to know your thoughts on all of this stuff as well as, you know, just my own. And, you know, while I bring up, you know, people, you know, making up these motives and um, all that sort of stuff, you know, and the negative comments, I do, I do mean this when I say this. It's, it's a very small minority. It's sometimes difficult to ignore, but the majority of you guys are awesome. And I couldn't thank you enough for just being here to watch my content. So anyway, that is just about it for the video. I do hope you guys enjoyed just hearing me talk about this sort of stuff. If you did, Make sure to, in fact, feel free to leave a like, right? You don't have to make sure to do anything. 
Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, maybe in a future commentary, I'll refer back to some of the comments and some of the ideas, anything you want me to discuss, all that good stuff. Anyway, once again, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys on my next video.